Hi everybody, it's Boaz Feiler and Georgia and we're here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for July 13th, 2016. The Moon is in Scorpio and it's conjunct Lilith. Every time the Moon is in Scorpio, our lower chakras are rumbling. <laughs> There's more energy being stirred up in our lower chakras and that could be aggression or anger or that could mean our basic needs and desires everything concerning sexuality and sensuality and when it's conjunct Lilith we could be naughty <laughs> and we have to be aware of that now it's okay to be sensual and it's okay to be sexual and as long as you don't hurt yourself or other people that you have a relationship with and the thing about Lilith is that it can bring forth behaviors that are not fully aware or sometimes self-destructive. So just uh, um, understand that this is an influence that we are uh, having now and that we need to be aware of. And that becomes even more sensitive because Mercury that's going into Leo tomorrow is conjunct Venus that already went into Leo today. There's a lot of communication and a lot of information that is passed in our relationships at the present days, in, in these present days. And there's a lot of emotional needs that need to be met. Leo wants to be in the center stage. Leo wants to accept love and give love and play fully and envelop itself in this uh, game of life, in this adventure of love and really enjoy it, be playful with it. And if that is not occurring in your primary relationship, we should be careful not to take it for granted or, uh, and, or think that it's not important enough and we can move on and look for it elsewhere without thinking two times about it. These two are squaring Juno, which means our long-term commitment. So these are all issues that could play out these days in our relationships. And Mars is in a yacht configuration with Uranus and Vesta, which means that we don't have a lot of patience regarding anything connected with our desires. So just be aware of all of that. And I hope, and Georgia hopes you're going to have a very positive day. And this is a great day to not acknowledge uh, your desires and satisfy your immediate needs, but really meditate on them and understand them better and bring darkness into the light. Thank you for listening and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.